In this video, I explain how to manage finance inside of your Zoho CRM system. I go over how to use invoices, quotes, sales orders, and purchase orders, and I explain how they all connect to one another. Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick. Just before we do get into the video, if you are signing up to Zoho CRM for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. There's one for the US if you're based in the US and one for the EU if you are in the EU. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So in this video, like I discussed, I'm gonna be walking you through the quotes, sales orders, purchase orders, and invoices inside of your Zoho CRM system. So I'm on the home screen at the moment and I'm gonna head over to quotes up the top here. If you cannot find it, use the three dotted button and then just search for the particular module. So search for quotes in this instance and you may have to come back here for the sales orders, purchase orders and invoices. So we'll go to our quotes. As you can see, we do not have any quotes inside of the Zoho CRM system at the moment. Hopefully you know what a quote is, you're familiar with what an actual quote is. What we firstly wanna do is now go ahead and create a quote. So this is essentially we are quoting and more often than not, nine times out of 10, we're quoting um, for a product for our deals area. So if we press create quote, we then wanna go ahead and start filling out some relevant information about our quote. Now do bear in mind, this can be done from the deals area and I will demonstrate once I've created this quote, how you can go ahead and do that or at least show you. But um, let's go ahead and start entering in this information. So initially we need the quote owner that is filled in as myself. We now want to associate the deal name or the, the deal with the quote, and this is key. I recommend doing this every time you create a quote. So I'm gonna see it associated with this particular deal. Give the uh, quote a subject, or, or essentially the subject is the name. So try and make it as uniform as possible across all your quotes, otherwise it's gonna end up looking messy and become very confusing. So I'll just call this CRM crew quote. And then my recommendation would just be put the date as well. So the date today is the 19th of the 2nd, uh, 2022. And then we can select when this particular quote is valid until. So often it's either 15 or 30 days. Obviously it's up to you, it might even be seven. So let's just put seven, then let's go for next Saturday. It will be available, uh, it, it will expire, sorry. And then we can select the stage of our quote. So has it been drafted? Is this just a draft like to give a rough idea? Or are we at the negotiation stage? Are we delivered? Are we on hold? Have we closed this particular quote as one? They're absolutely happy this is the right quote for them. So you can select the different stages available. I'm just gonna leave it as draft in this instance. And then we need to associate a contact and an account with this particular quote as well. So often you might wanna go back to the deal and who's in charge of the deal, but there may be other instances where you might not. For example, this quote might be associated with the same company, but a different person. That being the reason being they might be the accountant or in the finance department and you're actually sending it off to the finance department to approve it or not. It's, it's up to you who you associate it with. I'm associated with myself. So I selected my name and then the account is automatically filled in. And then you might have, if you are sending this quote, via the post or through a letter you might have a carrier as well that is a little bit old school nowadays and then from here we have our address information so obviously we've got our billing address and shipping address and we can copy any information from one area to the other so if i go ahead and fill in just some basic information about well i'm just going to leave it at that if i press copy address billing to shipping or shipping to billing so as you can see shipping to billing is just copied that information over which saves us a little bit of time now, obviously, as part of our quote, we need to add the product information. So hopefully you've created products and I've got a video on this channel on how to create a product inside your Zoho CRM system. And I, that is a test product. I'm just gonna associate this particular quote with that test product. The quantity being one, the list price is 10. The amount obviously is 10. And then we can add a discount to the individual product. We can add tax as well. And then we can add a discount to the total bill as well down the bottom here. And then we can adjust the tax as well. Uh, uh, we can add tax as well, make any adjustments. And then we've got the grand total. So let's say we agreed that we would do 20 of this particular product. Then we might add another product. And then we say, look, we'll do a 10% discount, for example. And then that will come off the whole bill. Or maybe you said, oh, well, um, you know, we'll do a 10% discount on that particular product, but we're not doing it on, across the board. It's up to you. This is a quote. And then you go ahead, 
can add your terms and conditions, any further information in the description, and then you can just press the save button. And now you've created your new quote. Now you can convert it to a sales order and invoice, but I'm gonna come back to that in a moment. I said I would go over to the deals area and show you the particular um, way of looking or creating a quote. So we created a quote for CRM crew, if I'm not mistaken. If you see on the related list on the left-hand side, or you can just scroll all the way down, you will see your quotes and you will see that that quote has just been created now. And you could go ahead and create a new one from the deals area if you'd like to. It's exactly the same process. It's up to you how you want to do it. But obviously, like I said, you're always going to be wanting, wanting to send a quote in association with a deal. So we head back to the quotes area. And now we've gone ahead and created our quote. We can then either convert it to a sales order or invoice. So if you click on it, you get two options to convert. So you've clicked on the record. You can press the convert button in the top right hand corner and we get sales order and invoice. Now, strangely enough, I'm not entirely sure why, because there's use cases for both of them. But unfortunately, we can only convert it into one. So it's up to you which one you convert it into, but you can't do both. You don't have the option of sales order and invoice. It's sales order or invoice. Now, me, I would probably convert it into an invoice and create the sales order. You may not, and I know a lot of businesses don't, they, they don't even use sales orders. Obviously, purchase orders are different, but people don't always use sales orders. They just use the invoice for that. So it's up to you which one you want to use. Um, I'm going to leave it as neither of them as we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over to the sales order. We've got no sales orders. We're going to go ahead and create one. So again, if you can't find it, just use the three dotted button and then press the create sales order button. And now we need to go ahead and fill in very, very similar information <clears throat> to um, the information we filled in in the quotes area. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this information now. So firstly, we need to associate it with the deal. Again, we've got subject. So maybe uh, CRM crew and then you might want to do sales order and then the date. So it's again, it's the 19th of the 2nd, 2022. And then we associate a quote with the, uh, the sales order as well. So, so we associate it, but we can't convert it. It's all very confusing. I don't really understand that. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. We can also add a purchase order as well if we'd like to. And then we can put pending if needs be. We can add the due date. So when is this particular sales order due? So maybe we say next week again. We've got carrier if we'd like to send it by post. We've got the contact name, so that's all added automatically from the deal um, or the quote. It could be one of the two. I'm not too sure. And then you've got sales commission. So any sales commission associated with the sales order, excise duty, if you've got any of that as well. And then you've got the account name, which is directly associated with one of these two. It will have just been filled in automatically. And then finally, we've got status created has been created, approved, delivered or cancelled. So you've got a few different options there. And then obviously, as we associated it with the quote, the product information has been added. You can see the cost, the, the list price, the quantity, things like that. Any discounts that we would have added as well. And then we've got terms and conditions and description. So you press the save button and you can go ahead and convert this into an invoice. OK, so it depends how you structure it. If you go quote to sales order to invoice, then you convert automatically saves you a lot of time, but you can't go quote to invoice to sales order. It, it baffles me. And But anyway, you can also obviously send these. And I forgot to mention that in the quotes, but it's exactly the same. You can export it to PDF or you can just press the send mail button. If you export to PDF, you can then download it. Or if you send it via mail, you send it directly from the Zoho CRM system. So obviously with the quotes area, if we go back to quotes quickly, you'd use the uh, three dotted button, you go send mail, and then the pop-up menu has opened over there. You would then go ahead and select quote template, and you can go ahead and press the next button, and then send it directly from your Zoho CRM system attached as a PDF. I personally would probably just download it, so I'd export it to a PDF, download it, and then email it from my email area. But that's just me. It's up to you what you do. So you've got your sales orders, we've now created a sales order. We could go ahead and convert it into an invoice if we'd like to. Um, and then we go over to our purchase orders. So that's the third thing in terms of managing the finance of inside of your Zoho CRM system. So to create a purchase order, it's exactly the same. Press create purchase order. I'm hoping you are familiar with what a purchase order is. 
Um, and then again, we just need to fill out some relevant information about our purchase order. So this is the purchase order. We'd obviously be sending this to our supplier if they're providing products or if they're outsourced services, anything like that. So we've got our PO number. You can enter that one, two, three, four, five, six. This may tie in with your accountancy software if you are using that as well. And you don't have to manage everything on the Zoho CRM system, but again, it becomes more useful, more information available. So maybe you've already generated a PO number on your accounting software and then you can enter it in here. We can add the subject. So if I put CRM crew purchase order, and then again, we'll add the date. Uh, so what is it? The uh, It's the 19th of the 2nd, 2022. And then we can associate a vendor name. So wh whoever your vendor is, obviously you need to tie that to the purchase order. Then we can add a contact name as well um, and further information like the PO date, due date, um, carrier, excise duty, sales commission, and then the status created, approved, delivered, or canceled. And then finally, we can enter our address information in and then obviously the products that we are purchasing from that particular vendor. So obviously this is important as well. It's not gonna be the same as a quote. Obviously it's purchased to the supplier, so you need to detail what you are buying. Now you may not be doing the purchase order and the sale at the same time. You probably have stock if it's a product of uh, that particular product and then you will, you will just order on a monthly basis, for example. So let's just add our test product. Let's maybe say we have ordered in a thousand or 1100, sorry of that particular product. So it's gonna cost us 11,000 pounds to buy in. Obviously that's how we manage our ins and outs for our products. Press the save button and now we've gone ahead and created our purchase order. So we can obviously manage any information regarding that from this particular area. And then finally we have our invoices. Now we've created our quote, we've sent it over to our deal. We've then created a sales order as well. They've approved the quote, they're happy with the sales order, we then wanna go ahead and create an invoice. So obviously we can just um, convert, like we mentioned from the quotes, all the sales orders. However, let's manually create a new invoice. So if we press the create invoice button and let's go ahead and fill in some of the information. So firstly, invoice owner, and then we need to select the sales order it's associated with. So we've got CRM crew quote, that automatically fills in the subject. You might wanna change that to invoice. And then we've got the purchase order. We can write out any information about the purchase order there if we need to. We've got the invoice date. We need to, uh, the, the obviously it's been created, so it's the 19th today. We've got excise duty, if that's applicable. We've got due date, but obviously that is based on the sales order, which is based on the quote. So all of that information has been entered in accordingly. We've got status. We've got created, approved, delivered, or canceled. So that's obviously for our invoice any sales commission associated with it, uh, this particular invoice, and then we got contact name and account name, so the, the individual and the business that this particular invoice is associated with. And then finally, we've got the information about our address and the product, so obviously this goes back to our quote that we created at the very beginning, um, and obviously we can see that the grand total is 200, we've got a quantity of 20. So once you're happy with your invoice, again, just press the save button, that information will be added. And again, you can go ahead, export to PDF, you can print it out, you can send it via email as well. And that applies for all of these, including the purchase order, including the sales order and the quotes. So hopefully that has given you a good insight into how to create quotes, sales orders, invoices and purchase orders, and then send them out via your Zoho CRM system for your uh, deals to manage them very, very easily from your Zoho CRM system, get approved quotes, and then we move on to sales orders, and then hopefully win the sale as well. Once the quote and the sales order all gets approved, they're happy, and then we send them the invoice for them to pay. And obviously our purchase orders to request more stock off our suppliers. Hopefully this video has been of use, and I will see you shortly in a moment's time. Hopefully you're now all set to manage your sales orders, purchase orders, quotes and invoices all from your Zoho CRM system. If you have enjoyed this video or it's been at all helpful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, please drop a comment below or you are more than welcome to email me. My details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.